You mentioned um Castro um in some weeks she um he should be declared dead by in some weeks. Yes. Wow. He's in the seventh year since he keep on missing, so I think per the law, in the seven years, if nothing is said about you, you'll be declared dead. Then the funeral can go on as well. So. Wow. Yeah, I think in a month or two. I think it was June. July, yeah, so in a month, yeah, he should. So soon, seven years. How does that make you feel? It's been seven good years. Okay, not good, but seven unfortunate years without him. And in a month's uh, time, he'll that's be declared. Really crazy, huh? The last time I saw him, we had a surprise birthday party for him. And we had the party the, the night before his birthday. He didn't expect it. We all surprised him. And then the next day, he released Saiho on his birthday. So we all went to YFM. Are you crying? To release the song. Do you want to cry? No, I mean... Ah. Anyway. How, uh, I can't believe it's seven years. Yeah. He told me he was going for a funeral in Kumasi. Was supposed to go and was supposed to go and submit our, our passports during the week. So we were supposed to fill the forms. And he told me he was going for a funeral in Kumasi on the Saturday. And then he'll come back on Monday or Sunday. And then we'll, we'll fill the forms. So his brother, Martin, that was his manager, Kwame. And him were together and they told me, oh, what you not on the prayer, Kwame? So Sunday I'm home. I know that Castro is in Kumasi. So Sunday I'm home. I remember exactly where I was sitting in my old house, watching TV. I got a first call from DJ Mensa telling me that, oh, Castro had drowned in Adan. And I, I, I ignored it because I knew he was not in Adan. I knew he was in Kumasi. Then I got a second call and a third call. I said, the guy is in Kumasi. He's not in Adan. So I went on his Instagram page to see if he had posted anything in Kumasi. He hadn't posted anything. I went on his brother's page, and I saw his brother had posted. But the picture was only his brother. So I called his brother. I called him first, and he didn't pick up. I called his brother, his brother picked up. And his brother told me that Hastro didn't make it to the funeral. He went to Adan. They did they were supposed to leave. He went to Adan with Asamaja. Instead, and told him to go and represent him at the funeral. But he was going to hang out with the boys, and then they would meet in a car. But he's also been getting all these calls. He's calling his phone, he's not picking up. And he hadn't planned to come back to a car that day. So at that point, his phone that he has is dying. And he has to sit in a bus. Because he can't get a flight that quickly. He has to sit in a bus from Kumasi. So I cry with his phone off, knowing this. No power bank. And then when you get to a car, you're not even staying in a car to charge your phone. Mm -hmm. you're, to, you're going to a mm -hmm. to find out what's going on. So imagine about eight hours with your phone off. And that's how this whole thing started for me. I was like, what? His phone eventually went off. Two days after or so. And then the speculation started. What really happened? What went on? Where was he? And like you're saying, it's seven years now. Yeah, so, so, seven years. I thought it was six years. What would you remember him for? Oh, his talent. Castro was such an amazing, amazingly talented artist. You know, the song said, huh? When he sang Seho, it wasn't it wasn't what you guys heard. Okay. I think we should still have it. You know, the year before VGMAs, he felt like he wasn't accorded his what he deserved. So that Seho song was him talking to the organizers of Ghana Music Awards. Okay. And then he told if and he didn't write it. 
He freestyled in my studio. Oh. And then he came and said, the year before too, he doesn't feel like I was according what I deserved. So I should also talk about it on the same song with him. And I said, really him patch up. Then he said, you know what? Let's make it a single. And he changed all the lyrics to what you guys heard the next day. And still said, I should freestyle. He didn't write any lyrics. So me too, I was forced to also freestyle for the first time on a song. Every song I've ever released is my written material. But Castro made me freestyle on a song. And then tells me, Right after that, this is going to be my next song. Hmm. And that was his next song. Hmm. It's it's sad. Okay. Hmm. A fan of yours, um, Junior, says I should ask you this question. He said doing um the video for your personal personal, the one we're featuring Clash to, the short guy in the video moved around with a particular bag. And when he gets, he opens the bag and there's that look of people's faces. Mm -hmm. Please, what was in the bag? I still have it. Till so, today. So what was in the bag? No, I don't want to tell you. It will spoil it. Because hmm. the song is still there. Okay. I almost released the song three years ago. I actually think I did and I deleted it off all the stores. Wow. 